<laughs> yes. Hey guys, it's Bree, and I just finished work for today. I don't know if I should go sup fishing or yak fishing, so I'm bringing both. We'll see. Once I get there, I'm just gonna see uh, what the conditions are like and what the wind's doing. I'm just gonna bring some lures. I brought a cast net. I have my uh, live box for any live bait if I can cast net any. So it's just a day just to get out there, decompress, and if I catch a fish, that'd be awesome. As I was paddling, I noticed that there's some bait that's coming up to the water, which is perfect for my net that I have right here. It's just a little six footer. Uh, it's easy to throw off the paddle board. So I'm gonna see if I can get any of this bait right here and maybe uh, hit some docks or something like that. See if I can find any snook. I'm gonna try to go beyond it a little bit right where they're coming up to the top. Got my anchor. prefer mullet but this is great for their size. God, you didn't swallow it. <laughs> Back in the water. <laughs> mm. oh, catfish. All right, these are my least favorite fish in the world. I have not mastered the angle for GoPro on a stand-up paddleboard, so bear with me. It's a lot of leg shots, um, but I'll do my best to, to show you guys any, any action. So, ooh, there's some mullet right there. So right now I am sub fishing for snook and every week I take my students to a, a pediatric psych facility and it's just, it's a heavy day. It's just a lot of really sad stories and um, uh, just emotionally it's, it's hard to, to go there and um, you know, see these kids who are, a lot of them mistreat it and uh, a lot of trauma in their histories and I always try to make a point to get outside on these days <laughs> to kind of just decompress from uh, just everything, just being there and and I actually, I used to work at that facility and I loved it, I loved pediatric psych, um, I was in school at the time so I continued on and 
uh, ended up teaching long long term but um, every time I go back it's always a little you know a little piece of my heart and uh, <laughs> so now I get to bring my students there which I absolutely love but um, it is a heavy day so I'm gonna fish the next couple hours I have I think it's like two hours before it gets dark I'm trying for snook I have my swim bait and I have my top water brought my cast net because I like to throw and see if I can get any mullet, any bait that, uh, you know, whatever is around here, that's what they're eating. So I brought my cast net as well and we'll see if we can find any uh, mullet. Let's get at it. making some blind throws here. The tides are really high. My cast net is not um, weighted right for high tide. It's too light so it doesn't sink that fast, but you can see the mullet coming through. I'm getting eaten alive by bugs. <laughs> Round two, round two. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. I don't know if you can see this fight. Come on. Let's knock it, let's knock it. Come here. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's a good snook right there. <sighs> I'm about to catch a really good tree. That's the one good thing with sub fishing. I can just pop my anchor line off. It floats. I'm gonna reel in my big tree. <laughs> it's huge. Okay. Oh, I almost had it. go. Yes. 
get this guy released. Well guys, I'm super glad I got out here today. I mean, sometimes you just need that after work just to get out there, just relax a bit and enjoy the water. And I got my snook, so that's all I really wanted today. Catching a snook is, is one of my all-time favorites, one of my favorite catches. And yeah, so was able to get out, get my snook, and now I'm enjoying the sunset. And the noceums are out, and if you're not from Florida, Noceums are <laughs> the worst creatures ever. They're little insects that suck your blood or some mosquitoes, they get through everything. So I'm gonna start to head back soon. I got a decent little paddle to head back. And yeah, I'm, I'm really, really thankful and stoked that I got out here today. All right, I might throw a top water real fast just because they're just lighting up right now. Noceums are so bad right now. So if you're not from Florida and you are not aware of what a no see -um is, it's no see -um. that's how it's spelled, and it's pretty much because you can't see them. There are these little tiny bugs that um, land on you and devour you. That is one right there and right on my wrist, and there's like four on me right now. When they bite you, it feels like needles. <sighs> and they'll just sit there. Even if you like swat at them, they'll just sit there until you kill them. <sighs> it's the worst thing ever. And around this time, dusk, they come out in a swarm and they will just annihilate you. And it, <sighs> they are inside of my jacket right now. <coughs> I think I just inhaled one. <coughs> oh, they're so bad. I can barely breathe without inhaling noceums right now. So, I'm going to head back soon. <coughs> Alright y'all, I know I said I was leaving, but... I just had a school of mullets swim by me and I guess... I can't. They're biting right now. I'm getting eaten alive by these noceums, but heck, I'm gonna try again. Throw another one out there. See if I can get another snook. I need bug spray so bad. I'm getting eaten alive. Hopefully this guy does too. Me well. <sighs> I swear I have one on my eyelid right now. <sighs> Devils. Okay, where's this other mullet? That's unfortunate. Ooh, they are lighting up right now though. I can't leave. <sighs> Dang no seams. I am getting annihilated by no seams right now. <laughs> it's so bad you can see them flying in the light. Ugh, my thermosel is out. So I just came in from sup fishing. There's a bunch of mullet out here, so I am going to stock up 
on some mullet I'll use it for chum or something offshore or even just using the heads um, to go for snack they don't always have to be alive for it to work so I'm just they're all at the top right now so I'm just gonna take a few throws stock up the freezer see what I can find There we go, got some good ones in here. guys on ice guys thank you so much for watching i really appreciate all the love and support all the comments i get to read them i i really appreciate it and i'm just humbled that you know you guys want to take some time to watch a little bit of my life and i appreciate it so thank you for doing that i'll see what i'm gonna do next week i don't know yet uh another adventure <laughs> hopefully it's out on the water and it's hopefully catching fish i right, have a great week guys